Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts, where we're breaking down the key concepts from the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular is the precedence diagramming method. Now what is the precedence diagramming method? It's a technique used for constructing a schedule model in which activities which are represented by nodes are linked by one or more logical relationships to show their sequence. So that is a bit of a mouthful from the Pumbuk guide, but what we're saying is where we've got our schedule, you know, we've got activities going a long time, so June, July, August, whatever it is, this activity, this activity, this activity needs to be done. But we are looking specifically at what might precede this particular uh, activity. So these are the logical relationships. Uh, what can start when this one starts and what, what needs, if the, maybe this one needs to finish before this one can finish, for example. These are the logical relationships that it goes into in a little bit more detail in the Pumbok Guide as part of precedence diagramming method. So this includes four types of dependencies or logical relationships. We've got finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish. So let's delve into them in a little bit more detail. This first one, we've got finish to start, where the next activity, this is our next activity here, it cannot start until the previous activity has finished. So it's finish to start. The next one we are looking at is start to start. And this is where the next activity cannot start until the previous activity has started. So we need a start before we can have our second start. So this activity is, uh, is dependent on this activity starting. Now of course then we've got our finish to finish where the next activity cannot finish until the first activity has finished. So this one, this activity is dependent on this activity finishing. It's finish to finish. And lastly we have start to finish. Can you guess what this one will be? It's the next activity cannot finish until the previous activity has started. So we've got start for our first activity to finish. So our second activity cannot finish, we just can't finish until this first one has started. So it's dependent on this one starting. And that is the idea behind the precedence diagramming method.